What's up everyone, it's Mr. Fantastic here and I'm back with some Galaxy S22 leaks from the 50 megapixel sensor on the Galaxy S22s to the under display camera to the Samsung X AMD chip beating Apple and much much more so let's jump right in. First thing first, there won't be the 200 megapixel lens on the S22 Ultra. Like we heard from the rumors, it has been confirmed by the most reliable leakers. According to them, Samsung will further optimize the 100 megapixel lens, which I think is a smart move because the 200 megapixels are very unnecessary right now. And there is still a ton of potential in the 108 megapixel lens and it would be the third generation of it in the S22 Ultra. So let's see how Samsung optimizes it. Also, we have the camera specs for the S22 series 2 and there is a shocking thing that the regular S22 and the S22 Plus will use a 50 megapixel lens which I'm so glad to hear because the 12 megapixel sensors started to feel underwhelming and seeing how the 50 megapixel sensor performs on other phones, it is definitely a terrific choice. We'll have a triple camera setup on the S22 and the S22 Plus with 50 megapixel main, 12 megapixel all white and the 12 megapixel telephoto lens. And as for the S22 Ultra, we'll have a quad camera setup with the 108 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel all white, 12 megapixel telephoto, and the 12 megapixel periscope lens, as well as the laser or focus sensor. And next up, we're hearing that Samsung is testing new charging solutions for the S22 series and it is expected that these are going to be more than 25 watts and it might be 45 watts or 65 watts which is good because the 25 watt doesn't hold against the competition anymore. Also, the under display camera on the S22 series may or may not happen because its quality is still not as good as the regular front camera because of course it is literally under an OLED display. Samsung will see people's review of the Galaxy Z Fold 3 because it is going to have that in its inner folding display. So if all goes well, we may see it, but if not, then we might have to wait till the Note 22. So let's see how it goes. Plus, Samsung is testing the AMD GPU with a new Exynos chip and it has scored 8,562 beating Samsung's own Exynos 2100 chip and the Snapdragon 888 chip, both of which score around 5,000 points. And it also beat the Apple's A14 Bionic chip inside the iPhone 12s, which scored 7,668, which is insane because A14 is like the best phone processor right now. And also, bear in mind that the current CPU is based on the older Cortex A77 architecture, so it's gonna perform a whole lot better with the newer architectures, so it's gonna be very, very exciting. So that's all for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. And as always, I'll link all the sources where I got this info from in the description down below. Massive shout out to all of them. Lastly, I want to apologize that I uploaded this video after a very long time. It's just that my exams and entry tests for universities are happening right now. So I didn't have any time to make a video. But don't worry, they'll all be over in just a few weeks and hopefully I'll be able to make regular videos again. Thanks for watching, make sure you drop a like on this video and make sure you subscribe with that bell icon if you think I deserve it. I'll see you guys next time and up until then, be fantastic.